Hi friends, welcome to F9. I am Sunil Thakka. Wishing all our viewers a happy Dasara. Hope you all had a good festive Navratri. Now, why did the Indian stock market plunge on Monday the 23rd of October and what to expect today after yesterday's holiday? Yes, you heard me right. It was not just a fall, but a deep plunge. Right in front of my eyes, I could see the southward movement. The Sensex had wiped off 200 to 300 points in just about two minutes. That steep was the fall. The 30 share BSE Sensex and the 50 share NSE Nifty plunged to over 1.25%, the biggest single day loss since July 1st. In terms of points, they fell by about 825 and 260 points respectively. This is huge. That begs the question, why? What led to this sudden free fall? Uh, you heard it here first. Well, the apparent reason is the rise in the US Treasury yield. The 10-year US Treasury yield rose about 5% for the first time in 16 years, as foreign institutional investors, that is FIIs, anticipate high interest rates. Now you might ask me, what has the US Treasury yield got to do with the Indian stock market? US Treasury bonds are considered to be the safest instruments in the world. So when there is a hike in interest rates, FIIs will flock to these bonds simply because that is the safest investment route at least for now, and also there is a better yield. Once the heated bond market cools, the equities will take off and vice versa. Okay, so is this the only reason? Look, we can look for more reasons. As I maintained earlier, oil is a big factor. Though oil has come down in the past few days from uh, around $94 to around $91, still it is considered a danger mark once over $90. The price of gold has also gone up, meaning FIRs are looking for safety. The market was due for a correction. Please see my video of October 19, where I have posted the question as to why hasn't the market corrected itself. I was posed this question as to why isn't the market moving up if all factors are so good. My question to that person is that, despite the Israel-Hamas war, why hasn't the market corrected itself? It should be going down, right? It's simply that. The market had to correct itself and it is our job to give out reasons. Whatever be the reasons, the market is correcting itself for, for the overheat of the uh, mid and small cap stocks. Some of these were overvalued as I had mentioned in my video of October 19. The mid cap stocks have done well but now they are presently at their historical highs. They have possibly reached their potential. Thirdly, the small cap stocks are the stocks of hope. Their narrative is one of utmost hope. One hopes the ones that we are invested in will rise. These two have had a good run in the past couple of years, rising nearly 100 to 150%. So what do we do as long-term investors? Well, as I always maintain, the color red means an opportunity to enter at better prices. Keep a lookout for that little bit of calmness in the market. Tread cautiously and make your move. The 10-year US Treasury bond yield is currently around 4.81%. So expect the Nifty and the Sensex to have a mild recovery as domestic institutional investors will resume their moderate buying. Some of the stocks which you always wanted to buy but felt were too highly priced well, this could be your opportunity to go for the kill. To all my young friends, another important investment tip. You have to be an optimist first if you want to step into this beautiful world of finance and investing. And today's India, that is Bharat, is one of hope, expectations and yes, you got it right, optimism. For all those long-term investors and SIP holders, buying opportunities opportunities are always present when the market dips. Must believe strongly in the India growth story. To all my long-term investors, 
Happy investing. Stay inspired.